Ladies and gentlemen, we'll remind everyone that we have Rally Town short sale for $5 a piece down at the main ticket gate. 
I think they're still down there. I got this message a little while ago, and I just now saw it because I don't have my phone turned on during the contest. Um, the proceeds from the rally towel sales, that's hard for me to say, will support the Foundation Scholarship Fund, so we hope everybody picks a couple up. $5 for a towel is dirt cheap. So get yourself a rally towel and bring it here and wave it tonight or wave it tomorrow night when we take on the Paragol Rams for the Battle of the Bell. Game time, 8 o'clock. Come out a little early and have some fun before the game. Hope to see y'all here tomorrow night when we take on the Paragol Rams. Support the Golden Eagles. 2023 campaign starting off with a victory tomorrow night. Once again, ladies and gentlemen, officials for tonight's contest, linesman, Eddie Price, umpire, Tony Davis, back judge, Michael Layton, Harold, line judge, Brian Runnels, and referee, Brad Davidson. Looks like we got captains at the side of midfield. See if I can pick them out tonight. It'll be number 66. I always try to get the biggest one down there first. Lane Clayton, number five. Sid Palmer, number 10. Lane Compton. I believe that's number 33, right down there. That is Ashton Addison. And somebody hiding on the far side, so I can't see him. I can't see if that's an 11 or a 10. I believe that's an 11. Yeah, that's Gavin Cup, my old buddy, folks. Come around tomorrow, or Tuesday night, and listen to Gavin when he's out there with the rail rollers with the volleyball team. Gavin leads the way. On the far sideline, it is the Pocahontas Redskin captain, and I'm going to need my binoculars for this for sure. Except for that one kid right there in the middle, number 54. I can see that pretty plain. That is James Billingsley. Also number 68, Isaac Molina. Number 65, Evan Thompson. And number 22, Parker Radcliffe. Now, folks, right after the captains get the toss, we'll have to do the pledge of the national anthem and moment of silence, so be ready for that. Redskins are going to defend the north end zone. That's the one down there by the hill. Now the captains are heading to the to the victory line down there, folks. Brad, you want me to do the national anthem now? Ladies and gentlemen, if you would please stand, remove your caps, headgear, face the south end zone where the American flag is proudly displayed. Put your hand over your heart and repeat after me for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Please remain standing for a moment of silence to be followed by the national anthem.
Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. It's time to get some football on the field to go cast your eyes towards that north end zone. The Golden Eagle Junior High squad is getting pumped up right now. We're going to need you to get good and loud for that green and gold team down there, folks. Because it's time to get up and get loud. Now be ready. I know it's Thursday night and it's a little after some of y'all's bedtime. But we are telling your Golden Eagle! They asked me to play some pump-up music, and I think that national anthem just might be the best song out there for it, folks. Heading back deep for the Gold League return team is number 15, Chase Williams, and number 8, Benton Farmer. Looks like hell in the kicking jar for the Redskins is number 22, Parker Radcliffe. Up on that front line for the Golden Eagles, I see a big number 56, Zane Cates. Over on the far side, that's number 50, Luke Woods. And the times you might hear me say the name Luke Dale, that's number 50. Uh, let's see, that's also out there number 54, Clay Persian. I remember Clay from last year, nice young man, folks. Ball is brought down by number eight of the Golden Eagles. That's Ben Farmer. He'll be spotted right around the 30 yard line. It'll be first and 10. Golden Eagles has to go ahead now. Looks like that offense line is going to be anchored by number 66, Lane Clayton. Calling signals for the Golden Eagles, number four quarterback, Luke Kinsella. On the chair for the Golden Eagles, that's number 33, Ashton Addison, captain for the Golden Eagles. He brings it out to the 40, no, oh, excuse me, the 37 yard line. Nice game over Green County Tech. Several of the Redskins in on that tackle. I believe number 68 was in on that, and that is Isaac Molina. Addison on the carry once again. He's brought down by, I believe, number 65, Evan Thompson. And number, number, number five in on that tackle. 45, Tyler Baltz. Ball spotted back at the 45 yard line. It'll be third down and five. The marker light is out on the down box. Until his pass in for number one, Tyler Willis, incomplete. He'll be fourth down and five. Kazilla, the old sneaky quick kick, takes it down to the 20 yard line, and the Reds get to take over. First and 10, heading out to the Gold Eagle defense right now, hustling out as always. Number 60, Gavin Hess. 
Off the line to number 34, Brett Burns. Number 10 is out there, Lane Coppin. Number 50, Luke Woods. Number 23 on the carry, that is James Spencer, or excuse me, Spencer James. Brought down by several going to move in the flag that tackle that time by number 10, Lane Coppin. Holding the call against the Redskins. That'll be a 10 yard infraction from the spot of the foul. We'll move it back and replay first down. So the ball's going to be spotted just down there around the 10 yard line. First and 20 for the Redskins. That's number 54 for the goal leader. Clay Kersey digs in at the right defensive end position. Over here on the near wing is number 15, Casey Williams. Number 21, the ball game as he is. With Xavier Bowers, he's brought down by number 33, Ashton Addison. It'll be second down and about eight for the Redskins. Mr. James on carry, he's brought down by number 60 of the Golden Eagles. That is Gavin Harris. He'll be third down and about three going to defense. Looking to move in and make a stop here on third down. Also number, I believe that is 67 heading out there. That is Malachi Clifton. So it'll be first and 10 balls by that puzzle on a 25-yard line. Go legal offense. Takes over. Signal caller number four, Luke Pinsilla on the play. They got nobody here. And that's going to be enough for a golden eagle. Timeout, Redskins. Now, folks, I know y'all all know this, but that concession stand is open for your snacking and drinking pleasure. Head on down there and get yourself something cool to drink. Maybe pick yourself up a nacho tonight. Who knows what they got? Looks like the nachos look pretty good. I know we got Johnny Freeze. See those white cups floating all around the stands. How about the band and support the concession stand? Help out a concession stand and support the band, folks, either way you want to say it tonight. Certainly do appreciate the junior high dance team and cheerleaders being here tonight. They're always here supporting the Golden Eagles, doing a fantastic job. So the goal leader's head to the line, first and ten ball at the focus on his 12 yard line. Down there, folks. Only a dollar a bottle, so if you need something to drink, you're going to drink. 
that Jude Hoy head on down to that South Possession stand. High school water available down there. It may not be fancy, but it sure is good on a nice summer night like this. Looks like him kicking Jordan Knight for the Golden Eagles is number 10, Lane Compton. Back beat for the Redskins. I believe that's number 21, Ballard. Compton kicks down almost immediately by number 22, Parker Radcliffe of the Redskins. Ball will be spotted at the 39 yard line, but they'll take over first and hit Golden Eagle defense hustling out. Number 34, Brett Boone was first on the field. I always like to see people hustling out there, folks. You don't know why I don't say your kid's name, it's probably because he's not hustling. We had an to block in the back. Clipping against Golden Eagles. That'll back it up. It'll be back down into Pocahontas or Golden Eagles territory. Ball's going to be spotted back near the 30, excuse me, 44 yard line. It looks like. Be first and 10 to the Golden Eagles. And the offense hustles back out. Number 11, Gavin Cup, sprinting to the far side. Actually, that's encroachment on the defense. That'll move it back five yards. Move it up five yards, not back. Five yards remain first down to go legal. It's been a long day already, folks. He goes out of bounds, and that's enough for a golden eagle. All right, some of y'all have forgotten how to do this. I need it good and loud so I know you're out there. Farmer on the carry, brought down by several of the Redskins, Timber Westmoreland leading the way, number 78, excuse me, 71. Set Palmer on the game for the Golden Eagles. It'll be down near midfield, about 45. It'll be third down and long. Ball sitting right there on the Eagles beat. Out there right now for the Golden Eagles, number 54, Clay Terzi, number. Oh, 
We're at 339 left to go in the first quarter. Pass complete to number 11, Gavin Cup. He picks up a couple of balls. He's finding that 45 yard line. Fourth down and about 13 with the Golden Eagles. Pass falls in, complete for the Golden Eagles. Now we'll take it to turn that roll down. We're going to take a hydration break here, folks. We'll have an official timeout. So we're going to have the kids come in and get a little bit of water. And while we're in that, remember the South concession stand is open with ice cold bottles of water down there for only a dollar. I'm going to tell you right now, ice cold bottle of water sounds pretty good for everybody. Head on down there and get yourself an ice cold bottle of water. The North concession stand does have that Johnny Freeze. You can head that way. So while we're in the middle of this hydration break, we'll remind everyone about tomorrow night right here at Gold League Stadium. Game time, 8 o'clock. Come out a little early. We're going to be getting ready for the Battle of the Bell. Green County Tech takes on Paragool Rams. Tomorrow night at 8 o'clock, starting off the 2023 season. Hope the Green County Tech Gold League come out and start it off right with a big victory. Redskins come out, takes the ball first and 10, throw 45 yard line. Go look at defense out there right now, number 67. Malachi oh, yeah. Kiffin, Luke Dale Woods heading to the line. Nobody's covering the number two. I'm telling you, coach, without a coach. That's the flag. 23 on the carry by James. I believe he's brought down by Andrew Wagner. Flag on the play. I believe that was a face mask. It's going to move the ball down the field just a little bit farther. <laughs> Looks like that ball's going to be spotted down near the 31 yard line. First and 10, we're at an odd angle up here. That might be off just a little bit on the yard marker. Pass complete to number three, Jared Mitchell of the Redskins. It'll go in for a Redskin touchdown. Conversion good for the Redskins as number 23, Spencer James will have here. Going to be the return team hustling out number 64, folks. Evan Twitty running out that way. Also out there, number 58. 58, Ryan. And 56, Ryan Carraway. Told you folks, sometimes my eyes aren't as good as they should be. Number 67 down there, he says, I think you can see my number. That's Malachi Clifton. Also heading out there, number one, Kyler Willis. Number 
Back deep for the Golden Eagles, number 15, Case and Williams. Also out there, number five, Sid Palmer. Pick it off for the Redskins, be number 22, that is Parker Radcliffe. Another line drive kick gets okay. jumped on by number 56, Zane Case. Nice. It'll be first and ten for the Golden Eagles ball spotted just inside the Golden Eagle territory at the 49 and a half yard line. Luke Kinzilla heads out to call the play. Luke Kinzilla on the carry for the Golden Eagles. He'll pick up about five, it looks like. Maybe just a tad more. He is a tad. What? Right at five. It'll be second down and five. For the junior young leader. Right over here to the new side, number one, Tyler Willis. That's the last one on the carry of the young leader heading out to near the 39 yard line, and that's going to be enough for a golden eagle. Yeah, everybody's waking up. Yeah, that's what we like to hear. Resets. Big number 60 out there, Gavin Harris, right in the middle of the, of the thing, of the thick of it. Early in the season, folks, I get better as we go on. It's about the five yard line. He's going second down and a long four. Excuse me, that's the 10 yard line. We need to get down by the five. There's number 15 heads in for the goal East, Case Williams. Swinging out to the far side, number 10, Lane Compton. Case Williams on the carry. He heads out of bounds around the 13 yard line. Looks like where he's going to be. It'll be third down and about fourth down and about seven. Oh, 
Time out. Green County Tech. You want to talk over on fourth down. Can't blame that. We look up. We got a couple of aquatic angels down there helping out tonight, folks. Always enjoy when the aquatic angels head down. Ball spotted right at the 12-yard line. Fourth down for the Golden Eagles in about seven, looks like. Gets the old, gets the gold Eagles. I believe that's a celebration penalty. That's not a good idea. But you get a little excited on that first touchdown of the season. Ball's going to be spotted back out near the 18 yard line with the gold Eagles have going for two. Number 50, Lou Woods down there. Over on that far side, folks, that's number 15, Casey Williams. Deep in the ridge is number 21, Xavier Ballard. First and ten for the Redskins. Go to the defense. Hurts went out. Into the first quarter, folks. So it's going to take a little bit of time here. Hopefully, the kids will get hydrated once again on this nice summer night we're having. I think we're at the break. We'll remind everyone about Tuesday night, the Lady Eagle Volleyball team in action out of their ring. I believe Searching Lions are coming in. For those of you who want to 
come out and participate. It's whiteout night. Game started at 4.30 with a 7th grade. Junior high and senior high to follow. Come on out and support the Lady Eagle Volleyball team Tuesday night. But tomorrow night, 8 o'clock, right here at Golden Eagle Stadium. Battle for the bell. Taking on the Paragold Rams. The Golden Eagles look to hold the bell for the again and again and again and again. They've had it for a long time. Looking to carry it back up that hill tomorrow night and put it back in the field house once again. Kick off the 2023 season right with a victory against the Paragold Rams. in Golden Eagle territory, down at the 13-yard line, first and 10 for the Redskins. Ballard the ball carry brought down by number 33, Ashton Addison, and number 64, Evan Putty. Gain of about two. Nice pop that time by the Golden Eagle defense. It'll be second down at about eight. Redskins QB, Spencer Gaines takes it in for a score. Number 15 heading back deep, Cason Williams. Also heading back here, number five, Sid Palmer. Right here on the near side, Andrew Wagner, one of my all time favorite Wagners down there. Up here on this near side, number one, Tyler Wilson, number 10, Lane Thompson. Right in front of him, number eight, Benton Farmer. And that's about where my eyesight runs out. Kick it off for the Redskins, number 22, Parker Radcliffe. Hey, 
Blue Bell with a delay of game in fraction. Folks out back it up about five yards. We'll all move forward five. And we'll try her again. All to be spotted down at the... Sid Palma on the return. Slips down near the 31 yard line. So the goal to offense heads out. Ball spot left on thirty-one yard line. Luke Kinzilla runs out with the play. Farmer wants to get on the carry. He'll pick up just a bit. It'll be third down and a long three. Nice block that time by number 54, Clay Kersey. Several Redskins on that tackle. Farmer ain't even bring down. Across the 40 down to about the 44 yard line. That's going to end up for a goal to the Eagles. So we're getting the play signal in. Over here on the near side is number 11, Gavin Cup. Also to the real near side, I believe that's number three, Andrew Wigner. Jason Williams on the carry for the Golden Eagles. He's brought down by number 71, Wes Morton. There's a flag back near the 40 yard line. We know the holding call will go back 10 yards from the spot of the infraction. It'll be 
First down once again for the Old Angels. Looks like that's going to be first down and long for the Old Angels. Once again, what? Thanks to those aquatic angels down there, folks. I don't have their names. If I get them, I'll be sure to mention them. I also want to thank the cheerleaders and dance team being here tonight. Coming up at halftime, I'm sure they've both got spectacular halftime extravaganza style shows for us. Break the sideline home, head back out. Root and Zilla with the play. That'll be a false start against the Golden Eagle offense. It'll remain first down, I believe. Yes. So that is another carry for the Golden Eagles. He takes it down near the 35-yard, 36-yard line after being tackled by about 70% of the Redskin defense. It'll be second down for the Golden Eagles. Second down about 18, it looks like. Maybe a had tad more, or tad less. We just don't know. Thinking ever about going quarterback, picks it up, hands it to Aston Addison, and he picks up several more yards. So that'll be second, third down and about 10. Two third down and about 12. Just over 220 to go in the first half. Ball spotted at the Redskins 35-yard line. Going offense, offensive line out there being led by number 
74, Timothy Whitworth. Ashton Addison on the carry, brought down by several of the Redskins, led by Elijah Converse, number 75. There's a flag on the play. Looks like he had a little bit of a middle legal shift there, folks. It'll be first down once again in about 15 for middle legal, so they'll get a running start at it. Hustle in the Redskins is number 67, River Taylor. Be number one on the carry for the Golden Eagles, Kyler Willis. He's brought down by number 16, I believe, in the Redskins, Joshua Dominic. It'll be second down and long for Green County Tech. Just about a minute 13 to go in the first half. Clock is ticking. Benton Farmer on the carry for the Golden Eagles, folks. He'll pick up a couple balls back down near the 40 yard line. It'll be third down and about 15, looks like. Clock just below 40 seconds. Until the pass from hitter for number one, Willis. Falls incomplete. It'll be fourth down. Clock stops with 21 ticks left on it. So it's fourth and long for the Golden Eagles. Kinsella heads back out to be the QB. Number three on the return of the quick kick, Jared Mitchell brought down by number 10, Lane Compton, number three, Andrew Wagner, and number 33, Ashton Addison. So with 12 ticks left on the clock, the Redskins will have it first and 10, ball spotted down near their own 20-ish yard line. I'm not sure where they're going to spot it at. I believe it's around the 21, but I'm not going to swear to that, folks. I'm at an odd angle, and it's hard for me to see that. I'm going to take a time out here, folks. Get to get hydrated. Go discuss a little bit of strategy. You know? Don't forget is that halftime extravaganza we got coming up. Both the cheerleaders and the dance team. It's going to be a great halftime show. I've been told multiple times by multiple people it will be the best halftime show of the season so far. Ball spotted right down there around the 21-yard line. First and 10 for the Redskins. 12 picks on the clock. No legal defense. Rushing to the line.
Pass complete to number 16, I believe. That is Joshua Dominic. Timeout, Redskins. Ball's going to be spotted down near the 33-yard line, I believe. 32, maybe. With 8.2 left on the clock. Sometimes it's hard for me to see, folks. I need a little Windex on some of these windows. Charlie Z would like to thank you for bringing the water up. Ava, thanks once again. Where, where are you going, Ava? Where are you doing? Red Zen attempt to pass as well. Covered and coming up the number five, Sid Palmer, with an interception. Leave 1.5 on the clock, and the Golden Eagle offense will have a late chance here in the first half. Just like going to commercial right there at the last seconds of the TV program. A little more drama out there. Heads to the line. Couldn't sell it with the play. They finally bring them down, folks. All right, folks, we've got a 10-minute halftime schedule for you. Ten-minute halftime. Give you a little bit of time to head down to Zedgy Tab, but right now, heading out there. For the first of the halftime extravaganza performance will be the junior high cheerleaders.
Once again, a great job there by the junior high cheerleader. Always do a fantastic job at halftime at every event they're at. Next up for your halftime entertainment, the grand finale, the junior high dance team. Special out there, folks. They don't have a name for that dance this yet. I was trying to get them name of the Holy Gully, but I got voted down. We got about seven and a half minutes. You can head down to the session stand, help yourself, and help out the band. Get yourself something cool. Remember, there's ice cold water at the South Concession Stand for only a dollar. They're going fast. You may want to go first. You may want to go quick and get you a couple. But they got the Johnny Freeze at the North End, folks. Once again, we'll remind everybody about tomorrow night, game time, 8 o'clock. Battle for the Bell, Green County Tech, welcomes in the Paragool Rams. 2023, the Gold Leagues look to start the season off right with a big victory. We carry that bell right back up the hill and put it back in the field house where it belongs, folks. Come on out tomorrow night. Remember, game time is now 8 o'clock. Come out a little early and do a little tailgating and enjoy the Friday night. Thank <laughs> you. 
All right, folks, we're getting ready to start the second half. Goldman will be kicking off for the Redskins. Once again, it's number 10, Lane Dobson, handling the kicking chores tonight. Right out here in front of him, number 35, Ryan Floyd. Having a business, stopping to play this for a second. Looks like we've got a Pocahontas on player on the far side. That is a bit of a stretch of training pieces going over the hill by first. That was the delay here. Hopefully he'll be up and around in just a few minutes. Sit down with number 13, Jackson Cunning. Back down near the 35 yard line. Go with the defense. Hustling out number 11. Gavin Cup leading the way. Also out there, number 34, Brett Boone. Number 18, Derek Runyon. Has the lead to number three in Mitchell. He's brought down by a couple of the young leaders. I believe counted in on that tackle. Also, number five said, Tom. Complete the number three. Mitchell once again brought down by several go leaders. Led the number three, Andrew Wagner. Also went on that tackle, number eight, Ben Farmer. And also number five, Sid Palmer. It's a gain of about four. Second down and six. Number 23, Spencer James on the uh, carry. Brought down by several of the old leaders, led by number, I believe that was number 64, 1120, lost his helmet. It'll be third down and right at 10. Number three, Mitchell. Ball's going to be spotted down near the 44 yard line. It's going to lead to be a first down. Oh! 
Game pass the lead to number 22, Parker Radcliffe. Ball will be spotted inside the goal league of 10. Near the six yard line, it's going to be a first down. James on the keeper. He's chased out of bounds by several of the Golden Eagles. Luke Woods and Lane Cockerell on that. It'll be second down and about three, it looks like. Week number 22, Radcliffe. Redskins score. Flag back in the end zone. Ball started against the offense. That is declined. We were lost over an extra group with a penalty after that. Going to come back out to the 13 yard line and they'll have another shot at the two point conversion. Because the game stones were off by number 50, Luke Woods of the Golden. Golden return teams out there. Sid Palmer back deep. Also out there, number 34, Brett Boone. Ashton Addison. A little late to the party, but heads back near the 20 yard line. Handling the kicking door for the Redskins is number 22, Parker Ratcliffe. Brings out near the 36 37 yard line. The goal leaders have it first and 10.
Three first and ten at the 36 yard line of the Golden Eagles. Luke Pinsella getting the play, heading out to run it for the Golden Eagles. Has it on the carry for the Golden Eagles. Takes it down near the 48 yard line. And that's going to be enough for a Golden Eagle. We've got an injured Golden Eagle. We can help to the sideline. Timeout Redskins. Always nice to see teammates help a player to the training table. Once again, folks, we remind everyone to try to stay hydrated tonight on the field and on the stands. Appreciate those aquatic angels down there handing out that water. They do a fantastic job. I hope they don't forget to help the officials stay hydrated. Remember, if you want something cool to drink, we got water at the south end zone, ice cold water down there for a dollar. Also have all assortment of beverages at the north end zone. Good and cool. Help yourself out some night, folks. on the carry for the Golden Eagles. He'll take it down there to the 45-yard line. We have an injured player. We will require all players to take a knee. Looks like Luke Woods had a little bit of a cramp. He's coming out. Hopefully he'll be hydrated and right back in. Apparently, it was penalty against the Golden Eagles. Back it up just a few yards. We're going to play it again. Looks like it was a really good procedure call. Ball will be spotted down near the 44 yard line. The first and about 15, looks like. Godzilla brought for a loss by number 65 of the Redskins, that is Evan Thompson. He'll be second now and just a little bit longer for Green County Tech.
Benton Farmer on the carry for the Golden Eagles. He'll pick up a couple. Ball will be spotted. will be spotted about the 38 yard line, third down. That's on the carry once again for the old Eagles. Picks up a good bit of yards there. It's going to be fourth down and about seven or eight, it looks like. Picks up several, but comes up just a tad bit short. It'll be poking on his ball first and ten at their own 27 yard line, looks like. Second down and about seven. Go with your defense. Looking to dig in as the clock starts to run down to the fourth quarter. I think it's the break in the second half, folks. Getting those aquatic angels out there to try to hydrate the boys once again. Hopefully, they'll be no more cramping up during the night. Quarter break here, folks. Once again, I want to remind everybody about Tuesday night. The Lady Eagles volleyball team brings in the Cersei Lions. It'll be starting at 4:30. We need a big crowd out there. It's going to be a whiteout night. We're we'll once again 4:30 whiteout, taking on Cersei Lions, seventh grade through senior high. Also tomorrow night at the Battle of the Bell is a whiteout for the crowd. So if you got a couple of extra white T-shirts, put them on. Wear three or four layers of white. Come on out here and support the Go Eagles tomorrow night. Game time, 8 o'clock, come out a little early and celebrate and get ready for the big battle of the bell. Hopefully, Joe Blink will bring home a big victory tomorrow night. We have a timeout. We believe we have an injured player on the far sideline. (laughs) 
I believe that's number 11. Again, yeah, Jeff being worked on. Looks like another cramp on the field. Once again, in this kind of weather, folks, you got to expect a lot of cramps. Once again, that crack. Training staff, we've got that tap gathered up and running. Great job on the interception, Gavin. Come on over to the side and catch yourself a little water. So after the interception, it'll be first and ten for the goal. The ball started right at the 20 yard line. Looks like Luke Woods is back in there, folks. His, his crap is over with. He's back in the game. Glad to see that. Nice and on the carry for Joe Lee. Picks up a hard couple up the middle behind that big offensive line. Quite the battle down there in the trenches. Pocahontas is holding in tight. Being led to number 67 on that Pocahontas defense, River Tabor. kind of excitement on Thursday night football, folks. I'm glad you're all here at Green County Tech supporting the Gold Eagles. So we're glad to see the large crowd from Pumper High who made the trip tonight from Randolph County. Give it all for the Golden Eagles, number 10, Lane Compton. These for the Redskins, number 21, Ballard.
So the Red Sea's ball first to tennis their own 45 yard line. Over the legal defense. We're going to make a stop here in the fourth quarter. 7 on 2 left on the clock. Pass the to number three, Mitchell, and he's brought down by several of the It was about an eight and a half yard game, maybe an eight yard game there on the play. Second down and about two. Looks like it'll be a first down with the Redskins. Looks like we've got another player down. James on Jesus brought out by number 18, Derek Runyon. He'll pick up about seven, be second down at about three. Week number three, Mitchell brought down number three, Andrew Wegner, and number 18, Runyon. I believe it'll be a first down for the Redskins. Just under five minutes left to play. Pocahontas has got the ball at about the 21 yard line. Go to the defense. Dig it in. Looking to make a stop.
This is James on the carry. I believe we got a little gold to leave down with the cramp. I believe that is Zane Tate. I'm not real sure. I will tell you all that eating lots of dill pickles will help without those cramps. We got a few homemade dill pickles in your covered at the house and about tomorrow, folks. So that's them kids get a little extra pickle juice in it. Illegal precision call against the Redskins. Not about going five remains second down. by number three, Andrew Wagner. Trophy the call on the defense, folks. Old Red Rover worked that time for the Red Redskins. Ball to move forward five yards, remains third down, and it's third down and about eight, I believe. Maybe get the hair under. down near the end zone. So we're going to require a little break here, folks. It looks like he's got the old non-pickle juice issue there. It looks like from play resume, it'll be Gold League football spot at their own 22-yard line. Looks like the young man's broken house is up and moving. Hopefully he'll be back soon. Not sure if they're still available, but I believe there's still some rally towels available. Be available for tomorrow night. Five dollars. Go about the foundation, folks. 
Here's the foundation scholarship fund. Only $5 to get stuff a rally down. We're fun to fan with him. World during the game. Second down and five, and we've got a Pocahontas player ramping up, folks. Hope we've got any senior high players left in the crowd, or senior high parents to remind your kids to not pass by a water fountain and carry a bottle of water with them tomorrow. Just keep drinking, folks. That's the best care of these cramps on Thursday and Friday night football. Looks like number 65 from Pocahontas, Evan Compton, heading off on his own power. That's always good to see, folks. Hopefully he'll be back in just a few. So if you look at the scoreboard, it's 22 to 22 with 222 left to go in the fourth quarter. Going with the offensive line, being let down there by number 60. Gavin Harris, also number 66, Lane Clayton. <laughs> Luke Pinsella with a keeper there. He makes it down near the 40 yard line. Looks like about to the 41. He's brought down with number 58 of the Redskins. That is James Billington. It'll be third down and just a yard or a tad bit more than a yard, maybe a yard and a half for the Golden Eagles. Oh, 
Down near the 27, 28 yard line, looks like. And that's going to be enough for another go with the Eagle. Couple. It'll be second down for Joe Lincoln. Joe Lincoln is taking a timeout with a minute 17 left on the clock. Second down, about eight. We go with the ball spotted just outside the 26 yard line. Luke Gonzilla heads out the call of the play. Takes it down inside, right at the 25 yard line. It'll be third down. Ball spot in that 26, excuse me. Third down and about seven. Brought down around the 28 yard line and we fourth down. Time out. Golden Eagles with 34.1 left on the clock. You can have two of you some acrobatics down there. That looks pretty fancy to me. I can do that sort of thing, but I'll have to be on that hill and go inside. take over first and ten at their own 25 yard line 28.8 left on the clock
Corinthians, I believe, have two timeouts left. Number three, Mitchell, and Jablee. Number two, Jablee, and Jablee. Please put 24 on the box. You got it. Number 16, Joshua Dominic, battled away by the Golden Eagle defense. Fantastic job there by the Green County Tech secondary. So we're coming back to the 25 yard line. 18 ticks left on the clock. Second down and 10. Golden Eagle defense looking for some magic. Third down and 10. James on the keeper. He's brought down by number 50, Luke Woods, and number 8, Benton Farmer. It'll be a first down ball. He'll be spotted at the 39-yard line of the Redskins. Eight seconds left on the clock. So with eight ticks left on the clock, Poker Hollis has got the ball first and gives their own 38 yard line. Mitchell on the carry, he's brought down by number 10, Lane Compton. Seconds on the clock. So we we'll put two seconds back on the clock. Ball will be spotted right at the 44 yard line. Second down and five. Once again, I want to recognize those aquatic angels down there, folks. I do not know their names, but I certainly do appreciate how hard they've been working tonight, keeping everyone hydrated. Once again, I want to thank the cheerleaders and the dance team for being here tonight and having such an awesome halftime show for us all. I want to thank you, the fans, for being here tonight. Stay until the 
Final whistle blow. Pass all things complete. And that'll be the final play of the ball game, folks. We wind up with a 22-22 tie on this nice summer night. Once again, I want to thank everyone for coming out tonight. And remind you all to be here tomorrow night for the Battle of the Bell. Game time at 8 o'clock. Come out a little early and do a little fair game. Hi, Lily Gensel. How are you doing tonight? You doing all right? You didn't come here to show you. I thought you might be sick or something. I didn't know. Once again, tomorrow night at 8 o'clock. Battle of the Bell, welcome to Paragool Rounds. Leave the senior high goal to me to start the season off right with a big victory. Jerry that Bell right up the hill to keep it where it belongs. Once again, Green County Tech, I'd like to thank you all for coming out tonight, supporting both these schools and fine student athletes. We hope everyone had a good time tonight. We wish you all a safe trip home. Hi, Shelly McCord. Oh, Shelly Harris, how are you doing? She just ignored me, folks. How y'all doing? Shelly cannot hear. She's my age, and suddenly she's lost her hearing. Hi, Shelly, how are you, darling? Oh, y'all doing all right? Hey, bud, how's it going? Little lady right there? Once again, thank y'all for coming out tonight. Remember, if you got players, give them pickle juice, Gatorade, Powerade, water, whatever you can. we got to stop these cramps, folks. Nobody likes them. Uh... Remember, the game has been pushed back tomorrow night until 8 o'clock. We certainly hope everyone had a good time tonight. We'll see you here tomorrow night. Remember, it's white out night. Everybody wear your white. Wear three or four layers if you want to. I won't mind. But we're going to head it home and hit the lights, folks. Everybody get a good night's sleep. Be back here tomorrow night.